I am sick as a dog. I think it's the flu or something. I feel much better today than I did yesterday. Yesterday I quite literally felt like a corpse, like somebody had dug me up from the ground, from the soil and I was a walking, talking corpse. I felt so bad yesterday. Feeling a lot better today but definitely still not 100%. I feel gross. So I thought I would film a video and show you what I eat when I'm sick. I try to nourish my body but also eat things that taste good and are gonna bring me some joy while I feel like shit. So yeah, I'm just gonna share some of my favorite recipes for when I feel like this. Like I say, I like to focus on foods that are gonna hopefully make me feel better and speed up the recovery process, but also foods that just taste good and are gonna bring me some happiness. And for breakfast, my throat is so sore and I just need something cool and refreshing. So I'm gonna make a smoothie bowl. I'm gonna pack it with fruits, veggies, all the good stuff. And let's get going with it because I am hungry. I also have my extra, extra, extra large hot water bottle. This has been glued to me since yesterday. It is my best friend while I'm ill. Okay, maybe I'm a bit delirious as well. But yeah, let's make breakfast because I am a hungry, hungry girl. Okay, so we're gonna do a frozen banana. I know this sounds weird, but it works so well. It's frozen courgette or zucchini if you're American. <laughs> so it's just really good for when you want a less fruity smoothie and a more creamy smoothie. It is delicious and works really well. So trust me. And then any plant milk. Start off with a little bit and then add more accordingly. Cinnamon. Lots of cinnamon, please. And then some maca powder. Maca powder is amazing for everything health-wise, hormone health, and it has a really nice caramelly flavor. So about a teaspoon of maca powder. And then I'm gonna do some protein powder. This is a salted caramel protein powder. I've been going through a chocolate smoothie phase at the minute, so I usually use chocolate protein powder. I'm not feeling it today. So we're going with the, with the salted kaza. And last but not least, some chai seeds. Healthy fats, omega-3s, all the goodness. And then I'm gonna put a little bit of water in there as well. Blend it up. Scrape down the sides a little. It is literally the texture of soft serve ice cream. Okay, so I know this may not look the most appetizing, but I swear to you, it is so delicious and just what the doctor ordered because my throat is so sore and I just need something cold and smooth and refreshing going down it. And this is exactly that. Mmm. Literally tastes like ice cream. It's so good. I added a little bit more liquid than usual. I usually like it a bit thicker than this, but it's still delicious nonetheless. Mm. It just feels so nice on my sore throat. Mm -mm -mm. I would usually add granola on top or something crunchy, but the thought of anything crunchy going down my sore throat, no. But granola is usually a must have on a smoothie bowl. I'm gonna eat this, watch something comforting, on my laptop and I will see you when I next eat something. Yum, just what the doctor ordered. I'm a bit 
peckish so i've just made a little snack it is nush strawberry yogurt which is absolutely delicious it has the it has a really nice tang to it nush products are just the best i love them so much frozen blueberries i love having frozen blueberries or frozen fruit in general with yogurt because it kind of thickens the yogurt up a little bit makes it a bit like a sorbet texture if you know what i mean and some nice strawberries i try to eat as many fruit and veg as i can when i'm sick just for obvious reasons they're so good for you and make your insides happy so yeah delicious <laughs> Hi, so I have just made a peppermint tea because my gut is not feeling too great. I've been having ibuprofen and Lemsip and that always leaves my stomach feeling not so good. So I have made a peppermint tea, which is my favourite thing to drink when my gut is feeling a bit off. It just helps digestion so much. It is peppermint tea and peppermint in general is just my go-to for when my stomach isn't feeling good and it actually does work i feel like a lot of things like that are gimmicks but honestly peppermint tea and if you can get little peppermint capsules like tablets they work wonders also mm. something extra satisfying about drinking herbal tea out of a glass mug i'm definitely losing my mind a little bit with this illness. Soon I'm gonna prep dinner tonight. I'm gonna make soup. I had my boyfriend made some lentil soup for dinner last night and I had it with two massive slices of bread and butter and it was a spiritual experience. Soup and bread is one of those things where you forget how fucking good it is until you have it and then you think, why don't I eat this every day? It's just the perfect meal. And I think I'm gonna make a butternut squash carrot soup situation but i'm gonna prep it for later so i don't have to make it tonight because i will likely have zero energy by then last night i had the soup with one slice of bread untoasted one slice of bread toasted because i can never decide which is better with soup toast or just bread and last night i was thinking i'm gonna be a little bit crazy here i'm not gonna decide i'm gonna have one of each god i'm just <laughs> wild but anyway, I will show you the soup recipe when I go to make it. It's gonna be delicious. I'm a very good soup maker. I make a delicious soup. How many times did I just say soup? Take a shot every time I say soup. <laughs> I'm going crazy. Okay, so for lunch, I thankfully have some things prepped. Earlier in the week, I cooked some of this quinoa. So I just like to boil up a big batch of quinoa. I cook it in vegetable stock, which makes it taste so much more delicious so i definitely recommend you do that and then i just like to keep it in the fridge to put in meals throughout the week and i also roasted up some sweet potato just in olive oil salt garlic and mixed herbs and it's just really handy to have in the fridge throughout the week so i'm just gonna put together a nice salad with lots of healthy fats carbs just stuff that is gonna give me energy and give me some life sweet potato quinoa salad type situation for lunch my hair today is really not good i'm also going to use this tahini pesto salad dressing which i've been using which is absolutely divine best salad dressing ever so this is the dressing it doesn't look very appetizing right there but i just have it already made in my fridge i will write the recipe down for it it is so so delicious i've been putting it on everything recently let's make a delicious salad filled with goodness to help my insides
Hello. Ignore the sound of my boiler in the background. It's very noisy. Um, I am one crayon. No, that's not the phrase. I am one pencil short. I am one sandwich short of a picnic today. I am not all there. I am having a cup of tea decaf because I try to stay away from caffeine when I'm not very well mm, with lots of stevia in it to make it nice and sweet and I'm gonna have that with some medjool dates and I am gonna dip them in some peanut butter my favorite snack at the minute I usually have them like ready-made in the fridge or the freezer I cut them open put the peanut butter inside and then drizzle a bit of chocolate on and then they're ready to go in the fridge but I've just run out so my camera's going crazy with the focusing um so I'm just gonna have them and then have a little pot of peanut butter on the side medjool dates are amazing they're so good for you and they taste like fucking caramel they're one of my favorite foods they're incredible so yeah that's my little pre soup snack Delicious. Will be even more delicious with a thick slice of bread. It's soup time. This this is the funniest angle. I look I look small. This is the best vegan butter I have found, and I feel like I've tried them all at this point. It's very salty and tastes like salted low pack. It's delicious, so a thick layer of this is going on the bread. Mmm. Bread and butter. One of life's greatest gifts. That is, look at that toast. Yummy. Yummy, yummy, yummy. yummy. Don't think it was Hot. I went for both bits toasted today. I was feeling the two. Because it stays bready in the middle, this bread. Yeah. So it's like the best. It's nice bread, isn't it? The best of both worlds, yeah. Mmm. My favourite meals ever. Mmm. Highly. Nine. What, what would improve it to a 10? I guess it's just a 10 then, don't you? Really. You heard it here first. It's a 10. Yum! Okay, so to be honest, I'm very full off that. It was a very large bowl of soup. Um, but I still require something sweet after it. I need something sweet after every savoury meal. So I'm delving into the freezer. I have an array of sweet snacks stored in here at all times. So, I don't know what I want. Something chocolatey. I'll get back to you. Okay, after much deliberation, I'm gonna go with this. It's, it's gonna focus. It's like a chocolate brownie protein bowl. I'm gonna heat it up for a second in the microwave and it goes all gooey and delicious. Like a warm brownie. It's so good. The recipe is on my Instagram. You should definitely make them. Ooh, she's gooey. Brings out what's inside of you. I'm not gonna give up on you, Stefan. I believe in you. Stop! <laughs> Have you finished that already? 
Yeah. You dirty bastard. Mm. It's just beautiful.